Israel is at war. This is Alia News. On Saturday the 7th of October at 6.30am local time, Israelis were awoken to the sound of sirens. The terror organisations in Gaza have launched a multifaceted attack on Israel, leaving thousands injured, over 800 dead and 130 held hostage. These numbers increase hourly. At a time where the nation of Israel is heartbroken, we, as Ebenezer supporters from over 50 nations, are praying and standing with Israel. We are supporting Israel. We're standing with Israel. We stand with Israel. Standing very close to Israel. We stand with Israel. As representatives of Ebenezer in the Netherlands, the team and the supporters, we want to say, we stand with Israel. Our hearts go out to those who have lost loved ones and uh, others that have experienced the current atrocities. We do pray and know that God is with you and he will bring comfort to those who need it at this time. Shalom, dear friends. On behalf of the Ebenezer team and supporters in Moldova, we want to say that we are standing with and praying for Israel in these difficult times. Australia might be a long way from Israel on the map, but right now Australia is standing very close to Israel. And our Ebenezer people in Australia and in the Asia Pacific nations are sending love, sending support, praying for Israel at this time. It's a really difficult place for Israel, but we know that the God of Israel is her help and strength, a very present help in these times of trouble. And we pray earnestly for his help and strength for the Jewish people. Greetings from Romania. We love the Jewish people and we support Israel. We pray that in this time of grieving, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, the only living God, will scatter your enemies and bring you full restoration. We stand with Israel, its people, God's chosen ones. We're standing with Israel at this time and we're praying for families who have lost family members or who have family members being held hostage at this time. We're praying also for safety and security. We want you to know that we are supporting Israel through prayer and uh, especially for the leaders right now that God would give them exceptional wisdom. We're also lifting up the families that have been affected by the deaths and the kidnappings and everything else that's going on right now. We just want you to know that you do not stand alone. We here in the U.S. and in the Ebenezer family are standing with you and are supporting you and praying for you. God bless each one of you. Shalom, I'm Johannes from Germany. I just want to say we are praying for Israel for a miraculous intervention of the Lord uh, to really deal with the terrorists. We pray for the soldiers involved in all operations and that from the shock, Israel may stand up uh, and uh, May God have mercy with the people in Israel. Hello, I'm Kate from Ukraine and I'm blessing Israel for God's shalom to come and to reign and for him to save all these people who are in need now. Blessings, shalom. Hello, my name is Kajik from Poland and uh, hearing what is going on in Israel, knowing about all our friends and dear people from Israel, we are praying and we are supporting Israel, we are standing with Israel. And uh, we are also asking God to protect those who are innocent, to give guidance to all those who have to react now. And, uh, and really, please, Lord, give grace. Give grace to Israel, give grace to your children. We, from Mexico and Switzerland, we do stand with Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, the protection of the country, for the people that were taken, and for the government. Shalom, our dear Jewish friends. The Hebrew scriptures state that Israel will always be a nation before God and that the God of heaven's armies is with you. We want you to know that Ebenezer supporters throughout the United Kingdom are praying with you at this time for your families, for the Jewish people and for the nation of Israel. May God bless you and protect you. 
At Ebenezer Operation Exodus, we believe that prayer can make the difference. So, dear friends in Israel and in the Jewish communities all over the world, we want you to know that you are not alone and that we in all the nations are committed to pray for you, for Israel, in this most critical time. The chairman of our international board, Philip Holmberg, was in Israel when the war began and sent us this message. I send this message to you from Israel. I'm here on the roof of the Haifa House for Olim in northern Israel. We are all aware of the terrible, unspeakable things that have happened in the south of Israel around Gaza. How many people have been killed and um, taken captive and uh, more and more things are revealed and uh, we see the brutality, the violence and the hate of the, these people towards the Jewish people and towards Israel. And so this is truly the time to follow what the Bible says, to love Abraham and the children of Abraham, to love the people of Israel, the Jewish people, and to stand against all uh, anti-Semitism, all the hatred. So now is the time to pray. Now is the time to gather to help and to give support. And I would like to just encourage all of us to s look to God and to s see what can we do in our different nations. Amen. This is a critical time for us to take a stand to say that the Jewish people, the nation of Israel, has a right to defend itself. Israel will never cease to be a nation because God himself has called it into being and will protect them. Thus says the Lord who gives the sun for light by day, who sets in order the moon and stars for light by night, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. Only if this fixed ordinance departs from my presence, declares the Lord, would Israel's descendants ever cease to be a nation before me. Ebenezer will be contributing to emergency initiatives set up by the Jewish Agency in response to the situation, as well as our own humanitarian aid response in Israel. If you wish to support us or join our emergency international prayer meetings, please contact your national office or message us via our website, ebenezer-oe.org. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Ebenezer Operation Exodus YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest reports of Worldwide Aliyah.